Hello, Matthias Warrior here. Today we are going to continue with the series Abduction. I know I kind of left it on a cliffhanger. I wound up falling through the map and had to restart the entire game. Interesting note, uh, the game is unique every time you play it. I did not wind up with Texas as my state. I had actually wound up with DC the second playthrough around. So, now that I'm back to where we were, a little bit before, actually, um, but before we start, if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button, uh, like, comment, and share. Every little bit helps the algorithm. And with that being said, let's get at it. Okay. So, let's see. I have to go in here. Oh, there we go. Not too sure if that map is really needed yet. Push the button. Okay, so now I have to remember not to get out of the cart. Oh, I gotta remember where I left it. I th oh wait, I think I left it over here. Okay, so I'm gonna head back. Okay, flip that. There we go. And I do have a plan. Hopefully it works. Because I can't get out of the cart. And I don't know how else to get this to where I need it to go. Aha, it does work. <sighs> hey, it worked. Hey, pull that. Turn this up. Whoa. Okay, that didn't work. Oh man, that just creeps me out. Can I get out of here? No. Okay. 
Man, that's a lot of backtracking, but that that's all right. Not that, not that bad. And I did have to speed run this. I actually did an I want to say it was about an hour and a half originally because I didn't know what I was doing. I think I got it within like 45 minutes. So it's a good thing I knew what I was doing the second time around anyway. Okay, so back this back up because I can't jump out of here. Don't want to fall through the map again and then have to restart. I should be able to get out. I didn't notice that before. Is that a frisbee? Looks like it. Okay. So now I think I know, now that that's down, that's moving, I think I have to go back to where I started. Down the steps, around the cliff. Okay, there's that. Okay. That's not right. No, 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 no. The other way. Hey, it worked. All right. All right. Where am I going? Uh, that way. this lever. uneventful. Oh wait, the passage is open. Okay. I see, I see, I see. That's right, linear map. Can't take shortcuts. With it being so desolate, I'm expecting something to pop out randomly. Okay. Okay, so now I got... Wow, all these passages. Okay. Go to this one. Let's check this one out. Nothing. Okay, let's check over here. A 
Okay. Let's see. Whoa. Big skeleton. Guess I just follow the stairs. Okay. Now where am I? I hope this is where I need to be. What is that? Okay, that... I don't want that. Um, what's up here? I don't want to... I don't think I want to leave until I get water to that tree. So I'm just going to follow this right around. Oh look, another one. that one either. Okay. Okay, so before I continue on to this one, I'm going to go back. Wait a minute. I didn't see this. Didn't I come from this way? I don't remember. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Okay, so this takes me back to the beginning. Oh wait, I know where I am. Okay, let's see. Okay, before I jump in there. Aha. way up here. Let's see where this takes us, if anywhere. color is this one? Okay, that's yellow. Okay, that's locked. Okay, so let's find out. Because of the radius... Let's find out what this stairwell leads to. Okay. 
So, oh, this brought us to the sphere. And this leads nowhere. Interesting. <laughs> okay. That's just really interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. This is on a... I wonder. I, I don't know. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. If I were to rotate this 180. Not quite. This only moves it a third. I move it 180. Let's see where it takes it. Okay, let's go that. Moment of truth. Oh, I didn't move it far enough. I thought that was 180. It is, that is 180. So I am right. I'm close. I just gotta push that button one more time. Okay, careful. There's the ladder, or stairwell. I forgot how to get off this thing. Okay, there we go. And it's gonna be moved one more time. That should be enough. Oh, that is 180. Okay. There we have it. Okay. Now to get up top what's in here where am I I have no idea where I am Oh, I'm over here. Okay. Okay, so... I'm on the other side of the tree. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I know where I am. I went that way. Okay, so... Alright, so there's only two... Um, two ways to move around here. If I go that way, I go through the door. I just want to double check. I want to make sure one side is blocked off. Okay. And that, that side's blocked. Okay. So next up is I'm going to go I have no idea where I'm going. Do I go back around? Oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Okay, let's... Check that other yellow location. I probably could have gone back the other way. That's all right. two earlier so I'm gonna skip the first one that's the first one we're gonna go to the second one This is the second one. Let's see where this puts us. This has got to be Farley's vault. Okay. There might be something useful in here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks like Gur from... Uh, 
Invader Zim. I'm actually going to take a picture of that. Because that might be important. There's anything important with this. Take a picture anyway, because you never know. I didn't see anything on that. How about this? Nothing on that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oops. Come on. Okay, no clue. Okay. There's gotta be something. Oh! Array Larval Notes by CF. Takes about three to five days for a single array larvae to change colors after being moved to a new surface. Pulsing stops immediately upon removal from Captar, induced by polyarchs. Cloning has been extremely easy, like potatoes easy. Organics, plant fiber yellow, bone light yellow, array encrustment green, metals gold, pink, copper red orange, titanium orange, silver red, aluminum red orange, tech, mofang tech, mag magenta, Villain extrusions near white, stone, granite, captar, teal blue, sandstone, hunrath, light blue, sore stone, mofang, deep purple, shale, mar marae, very light blue, polyarch pods, always purple to do. I'm curious about the effect of combining various base surface. S still a bit odd experimenting with the life forms. The light they emit is handy given our limited supply of diesel fuel. Okay. We have gold bars here. Anything else in here? Okay, is there a reason why an Ark of the Covenant is in here? <laughs> what is this? Adventures in the Ages of Mist and Beyond. Nice Easter egg. From caverns, miles beneath the New Mexico desert, the Dene ruled an empire that lasted 10 millennia. They wrote linking books that allowed them to span universes, ignoring the primitive humans that infested the surface. But the glory of Dene was brought lo low mirror centuries ago, and their ages were left empty and abandoned until now. In 93, Cayenne Incorporated introduced us to the surreal worlds of mist and the Dene. Now you can make your own journeys of exploration and adventures through the ages. Play in modern or historical unlimited possible environments. Hamilton. Mist. Ooh, what's this? Okay. 
I don't know if that means anything. What is this one? Nothing. Oh, there's got to be something in here. Okay, so this is a candle. Or a lantern. Okay. Fifteen thousand nine nine seven A H the Belain they I can't find the words it's such a foreign life cycle. Or perhaps not. They launch themselves across the expanses of space, preserved for eons until at last their technological arcs can hone in and carry them to a new home. They have no connection with their pre predecessors, but in spite of this, perhaps because of this, they have amazing recollections of their history. Their stories are epic, reaching back through the eons. Unlike many of us who were abducted, they were abducted as a whole. Their scoop moved on entirely, an entire facility that was about to be annihilated. I have come to believe that they, perhaps more than any of us, have a deeper understanding of whatever this strange system is that we find ourselves in. 16,333AH. I need to write this down. We buried... Jiun today, this place never really agreed with her. Kept to herself mostly, depressed and downcast. Anyway, I digress. I stayed after the brief words were spoken. I was the last to leave. I wandered to the dome as I often do and looked out at the un undulating Saurian weirdness beyond the cell wall. Movement caught my eye. Now, on, my, on very rare occasions, we've seen Mofang scrambling about in the distance, but there have been fewer and fewer sightings over the years. But before me was a tall, haggard Mofang running desperately, almost directly toward me from one of the distant structures. It, I still can't tell the gender, got closer and closer i thought it would see me and stop or turn around or be curious about this strange dome and our world inside it but it continued running quickly almost directly to my position i was frozen in place with curiosity until my reflexes took over at the last moment and i leapt out of the way but rather than hit the dome and fall backward or come through into hunrath the dome flashed its familiar tone and the mofang vanished i was stunned for a bit but i really retrieved my wits and stepped into the dome myself to quickly get to the other side. After getting through, I immediately turned around and saw the Mofang outside on the other side of the dome, still running away from whatever it feared, but as if it had no sense of passing around the dome. As, su as surprising as the event was, it did serve to settle a few things in my mind. I always wondered how no one on earth noticed what had replaced this chunk of Arizona we have here. 16,772AH I've got to vent. Again, there are those who argue with me over and over. I demonstrate that in almost every case, whatever the process was that brought us here, it occurred at a pivotal moment. They tell their stories and they still can't admit the, that the abduction actually saved each of us, all of us. What is it in human nature that grasps so strongly to the past that we blame our saviors for stealing it from us? Okay, just one more vent before bed. If each of us was individually saved from something, then maybe all of us were corporately saved from something larger. Can we really be sure what's left? And this, the arrivers come from various places and times. Sarah got here almost 15 years ago from the year 2055, and Uziel got here two and a half years ago from 1942. What does that mean? Time here is shuffled and chaotic compared to Earth. What state is Earth in right now? When is Earth right now? 
16,787AH, it's 3.15am, and I feel compelled to journal this craziness. After spending most of yesterday meditating with the array, and then most of this evening discussing the nature of these worlds with CW, I had just a sip of infamous Hun Hunrath hooch and collapsed in my chair. Well, I just awoke from a dream. I'm not one who puts a lot of credibility in dreams, but maybe the array were able to move something in me to understand, or possibly because of the intense discussion, my subconscious mind was triggered to be able to sort out some logical co bleh, connections. Or maybe it was the hooch, the dream. I was tending a garden, an immense garden, and it wasn't for food or flowers, it was just about the health of the garden. I kept working and working to control it and contain it and make it healthier. But the garden seemed to fight me at every turn, and after what seemed like days of work I finally gave up in frustration, and as I stood there doing nothing, the garden flourished before my eyes, growing and spreading in every direction. Because I realized the system that the plants were based on was not about me shaping and controlling, the natural system of plants is healthier when they are out of control, when they are free to spread and intermingle and cross-pollinate and mutate. Now from a human point of view, that may not provide what I want. I get smaller fruit and smaller flowers and untidiness, but from the point of view of, pl of the plants, they grow stronger and much more resilient and resistant. The more they are scattered, the higher there are their odds of surviving. And now that I contemplate, I realize that even the individual plants or seeds may not appreciate the benefit of what's happening. They are torn far from their origins, forced into situations that seem extreme, possibly even destroyed by these new environments. But for the seeds that survive, ah, the seeds that survive, now that's where real growth, strength, and abundance comes from. It's so beautiful and terrifying. Beyond the beauty of it all is a system and structure that defies understanding. Okay, what if this is all a natural process? There are signs of something behind it all, but well-hidden signs. So, well, if I look at all of this, the cell, the tree, the water, the seeds, the hub, the health, even the abductions, well, there seems to be a grand system or plan. The plan doesn't take me into account. It is an unemotionally intent on it is unemotionally intent on the health of the some of something much bigger that may hurt my feelings, but well, what am I in the entire scheme of the universe? I have no idea what, if anything, might have put this process into motion, but that is irrelevant. Tomorrow I will talk with CW. He could be swayed from his battery plan. 17,145AH I really don't journal much. I came to write this down because I am distraught as I contemplate the plan that I have set in motion. I realize that I have become the destroyer of worlds. I sat down to write to seek some cathartic tranquilization and I realized the last thing I journaled was some oh my gosh, esoterically beautiful philosophy about letting this garden grow not so reaffirming or calming. But nevertheless, here is my reasoning because I must write this down. Simply, it's us or them. Complexly, if this is some kind of garden and we're the plants or seeds or whatever, well, some of us have gotten together and decided that we're the better choice to survive. If the others have unilaterally decided that we all won't survive. I am more fit, damn it. This is not me. I want to be calm and garden or ungarden or grow or what gives one species the right to destroy another species who gets to choose do i just lay down and die because the more aggressive species thinks they're better more powerful what brutal scale do i use to measure the good of some against the life of others does love ever destroy in order to help more survive to help love itself to survive does that even make sense? Can I kill because I think it will bring about more love? What if not even capable of understanding the situation of hate versus love? Maybe I am the hater. Do I generate this love delusion to help me maintain my sanity in light of the choice I have made? My god, it's too much. 
If these are just my walls of delusion, then I chose to live within them. I am a seed scattered by the wind, but I will not simply be trampled. I will kick and scream and survive. May God have mercy on my soul. Okay. Right. All right. Okay, I can pick up with... Wait. Wait. J M Okay, um I don't know what else I'm supposed to find in here. Maybe I opened something else in the other side. Let's just check the house quick. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the tape recorder. Okay. I wonder, should I talk to CW? I don't remember that. Suddenly I just got creeped out even more. Okay, so what is the deal with this battery plan? Come on. Is he gonna answer? Okay, that's the same thing as before. Okay then. So, nothing new. be something useful in there, but I guess not. What are you gonna do, you know? Nothing there. Okay, so with that, I think we're going to leave it right there. Um, if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, like, comment, share. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.